What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Guess where we're at? So we had custom speed creation. We got the car uh, strapped down on the dyno. We're gonna go ahead and um, get some hits in. Retune the car, the car was tuned um, once we first put the car together. I don't know if you guys remember. Um, we're on the dyno once we first got the build running. Made um, 600 at that time. And we haven't, um, we've turned it up since then. Justin have, um, Young Yeti on um, Instagram. He's turned it up since and the car's been running good. So now we just want to put it on the dyno, um, fine tune it, see what numbers we could get and um, go from there. So yeah, custom speed creation. We're gonna get this thing rolling, let's go. So we just did the first pull, um, 24 pounds of boost. As you guys saw, it made 730. Um, so that's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean up the trims a little bit, maybe add a little bit of timing, and um, see how we go from there. But yeah, this is um, the tune the car's been on from, from the get-go. I just haven't been on the dyno, you know, we've been tuning it. When I say me, I mean um, Yeti been tuning it, Justin been tuning it on the street, so we don't know what the car was doing power-wise. So we're gonna have George is gonna clean it up a little bit and do a little bit more pull, get the trims nice and clean, and go from there. But yeah, 24 pounds on um, 730, so we're gonna turn up the boost some more and see what we get there. So we got the car cooling down right now. Um, we, st we stopped at uh, 30 pounds, which gave us 817 and 645 torque. It's hot as hell, as you can see. Intake air temps were about 115, 120. So we're letting it cool down a little bit. We're gonna add a little bit more boost. I'm probably gonna end up somewhere in the mid 30s as far as boost is probably where we're gonna stop but yeah looking good so far super happy with the results so far shout out to custom speed creation shout out to justin young yeti super awesome super happy so let's get it let it cool down we'll be back with a pull after a little bit
there you have it guys um car made over 800 horsepower super super happy with that super happy with how the um the dyno went it was incident free um everything worked as it should we had zero issues fuel pressure was good oil pressure was good um no leaks nothing so super perfect um the highest number the car made was 847 that was on 33 pound of boost but we turned it back down we left it at 30 pounds because um the gain we got from 30 to 33 pounds wasn't consistent with what we were getting before every three pound we added we were getting about 40 horsepower um from 30 to 33 we picked up only 13. so with the heat it was 108 degrees inside the shop um as you saw on the graph you can see it on the far left it shows the temperature um, by the dyno it was 108 degrees so I'm not too worried about the overall numbers itself because I know that would improve even on a, a, a 80 degree day 20 degrees less it's gonna pick up uh, more power so I'm not too worried about the power number motor was healthy everything worked as it should and that's really what I'm happy about so we left it at 30 pounds that was 830 uh, as far as number wise um, which is consistent with what I, I expected it to make at that boost level. So super happy. Um, again, everything worked as it should. I had no more oil um, pushing in the catch cam. Everything worked great there. Valve covers worked great. Um, fuel, I mean, like I said, it was, it was incident free and I'm super happy for that. Big, big shout out guys to Justin. Again, that's um, Young Yeti at, at IG. And big, big shout out to George from Custom Speed Creation. Um, those two guys definitely did the work and the car is running strong, great. It's running healthy, motor is healthy. So big shout out to my mechanic. You guys already know who that is. <laughs> um, <clears throat> but yeah, so as far as that goes, like I said, super happy. I'm looking over the logs right now from the dyno. Um, it's been two days since I had a dyno. I've been super busy, so I haven't been able to do any of that. Looking over the logs, and everything in the logs look great. Um, the only thing of concern was the air temp, which, again, inside the, the, the dyno inside the shop was super hot. Air temps were starting at about 110, 115 were starting to hit. So, again, power numbers, I'm not worried they're consistent with what they need to be but i know they could probably be higher with a little better weather so i'm not, <clears throat> I'm not worried where that um is concerned but yeah um let me know what you guys think in the comment 800 horsepower gs300 800 plus gs300 so you know super happy there definitely gonna enjoy the car you guys are gonna be seeing some pulls and stuff with the car um maybe take it to mexico a couple times but yeah, definitely super happy with the results and um, how the dyno session went. It was it was flawless. Um, can't complain there. Everything worked like it should and it was incident free. So yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Out.